Watermaster boys, we're gonna be doing the uh, Wapiti Lower Falls this time. It's about a 12k run, but we got probably three or four really good pitch waterfalls. We got a portage round, so hopefully we get some good footage, and most importantly, catch some excellent fish. Water is beautiful, as you can see, perfectly clear. Should be a heck of a day. Come through there no problem we're just getting set up to fish you can stop those boats and fish wherever you want that's the beauty if the water's not too strong He's got a nice bull trout. Nice little bull trout. Keep them wet. That's where we're really gonna try to practice. Trying to keep them in the water. Good job, Mark. <laughs> How was that, Craig? That was pretty good. I got, I got a little wet on that one. Oh, it's good, I needed to cool off. Nice little slate slide of a rapid. It was awesome. Easy, easy. The next ones are going to get a little bit tougher as we come up around the bend in a boat. So we've arrived to the Lower Wapiti Falls. It's in stages, so this is a little one, but this is kind of what you see when it looks like an infinity pool in front of you. And you can hear, and then the odd splash. The river talks pretty good, so we're gonna get out and portage around these.
Coming up on the big falls. We're just walking up to them. See how we're gonna get through this without slipping. Hoping we can line our boats along the side. Wow, impressive. And then it drops down to another series below us. Ooh, slippery. Wow. Well, unfortunately, this is what it is. Part of an adventure spirit is you never know what you're gonna get. In this case, it's a portage. Not the end of the world and a safer bet. You can see down below, there's the falls. That is from the last portage. We don't want to run into them. walked back up kind of in underneath the main set just to show you it's probably I don't know six meter draw pretty impressive beautiful spot here gorgeous Well, we got everything all packed back on. You can see they strap on really good on these Watermaster Kodiaks. Probably 200 pounds a year and then us, no problem. Packed up and ready to go. And there's a video from the bottom. Not a bad portage at all, actually. It's pretty easy walking. We might have one more around the bend, but we're through the worst of it. Really neat outcropping here. That's the third and last pitchfall on the lower Wapiti. Had to portage this one too, but we didn't have to take the air out of the boat, so it was a lot easier. Beautiful here too. Man, oh man, is it nice. Just a gorgeous spot on the river. Bunch of bull trout in here we're, we're trying to hook up. We got one on, but just didn't land them, but it definitely is a bit of a barrier for the bigger fish right now. Nice little bowl.
full. It's a nice, nice little size. Beautiful. Also 10 seconds in and out. On the fly. Right on the edge of the white. Complication. Beautiful spot here. Have a nice fire sitting by the Wapiti. We uh, were hoping to catch lots of big bull trout in here, but we have yet to catch any big ones. And catching some little ones, but we uh, making a point to catch and release like we always have. But one of the things that we read a story about was our smartphones killing fish. It was an interesting article and. You know, I always thought us throwing them back, we were doing the right thing, in which we are, but I think sometimes we're trying to get that perfect picture after the you catch the fish and you do more harm than good. And they talked about that as soon as a fish, especially a mature fish, is out of the water, more than 15 seconds, the chance of survival drops exponentially. And so it, you know, you look back at what we've been doing and we wanted to make sure that we uh, change that up. So we're making a point to keep them wet. So if you're going to take a picture, be very quick out of the water and back in. And hopefully we can have less impact on uh, such a great fishery. So hopefully tomorrow we can find some big ones. Morning, a day two. Camp's really, really nice this morning. We Put it in a spot where we get this morning sun. Having some coffee and Bailey's. Look at that scenery, just amazing. Mm. on the water. Nice little brown. That's what we'll target. See the fish in underneath here, it's like an aquarium setting up on this rock waiting for flies to come by. Just fantastic spot. Here we're at Fearless Creek. 
where it runs into the Wapiti. There is a quad trail that's hard to find, but there is a quad trail down here. Very few people get down into here. Well, we're coming up on the close of our journey. As we know, is if you get a look ahead, there's an overhead pipeline. One of the rare things in our country across the Wapiti River, people don't know. We actually have an above ground pipeline that goes across the Wapiti. And then we get out. Great trip, the water was amazing. Just the, the fishing uh, was not as good as what we've done on other portions of the Wapiti, probably due to the barrier there with the falls and uh, lower flows right now. But an awesome, awesome trip. Two lines. Very cool. And at the end, we had to use a, something to pick you up. This is when we dropped a bike. And so we just couldn't make it a few trips, bringing all the gear out of the river. But sure uh, is great for easy on the legs. Works good.